Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This has been your true and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, I am looking forward to just seeing this one in action because the original Red Dead Redemption was, to my mind, the most ludicrously beautiful game of its generation. A game I found so stunningly gorgeous it became a running joke in the comments of my series of Red Dead Redemption that I just kept pointing out that I couldn't bloody believe it was a 360 game because it was so damn gorgeous. And here we are, Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I did some research here. Apparently the Xbox One version looks slightly better than the PS4 version. So that's the version I went for. And it's got Xbox One X enhancements. So I'm playing this on an Xbox One X. So this should be as pretty as Red Dead Redemption 2 gets. And uh, oh, I cannot flipping wait. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. Oh, that's a shame. It was a good era. It was full of westerns and John Marston. I enjoyed that era. And America was becoming a, a land of laws. See, that's not as fun. Bring back John Marston. Bring him back. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Ooh, destroyed underlined, so they are really in trouble. Got it. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! So obviously this is Dutch's gang. This is, yeah, basically, well, I'm not sure if I'd call it a prequel, but it's set before the original Red Dead Redemption because that's Dutch and his gang back in the day. Bring him in here. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. 
We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Ooh. Yeah. I've got my self-control. Right, so I'm Arthur, and I'm following Dutch, and... There was a mention, a mention of a John going up ahead, so that's very intriguing, and oh wow, okay, that's, that is some nice, yeah, hoof prints in snow, right flipping there. Oh, I like the new map, the new map that only shows you where you've actually been, and you've absolutely no idea what's going on elsewhere on the map. Because yeah, the problem with the original Red Dead's map was, you could immediately see how big the world was going to be and where the edge of the world was. Here, you've no bloody clue how far you might be allowed to go. But then again, I might be on a special opening map that we may never come back to, GTA 5 style, so who knows? Now, a very important thing to check, one of the very few things that annoyed me about Red Dead Redemption 1 was the fact that John Marston handled like a flipping tank. So if I just start running in a direction and then... Oh, he's got a much, much smaller turning circle. All right, Arthur's still got a bit of a turning circle, as you can see there, but it's nowhere near as bad. John Marston, occasionally to turn him around, you need to do a flipping three-point turn. Okay, fine. I approve already. This is marvellous. And yeah, time scale. Loading screen says this was 1899. The original Red Dead was... um. That was just before the First World War, wasn't it? That was like 1910 or something. So, yeah, we're about a decade earlier. Marvellous. Anyway, Dutch, let's go find John. Because I like John. He's a flipping star. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Now, I can't help be a little bit worried that my name's Arthur. Now, remember, there's a few people that have to survive this game because they have to go on to be hunted down by John Marston in the original Red Dead Redemption. So, you know, Dutch has to survive, and Bill Williamson has to survive, Wait, and is oh. Is someone coming towards us? What if we go coming out of the mist? Hello? Who's you? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Yeah, now we have the option to choose to talk to people rather than it being forced on us, but okay. And oh, hang on, I get options. Uh, 
So yeah, I'm seeing anyone else. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but it's shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. Why am I slightly suspicious of Micah already? Okay, and uh, where are we going exactly? How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. And, ah, you're keeping your lantern on because uh, they don't want to be seen coming. Which is maybe a little bit on the concerning side. What are we planning to do to this group of people? Let's be nice to them. Let's just ask them if, you know, they've got some nice beds for us or something. And, yep, suddenly just introducing health and whatnot. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. And just of course, this is in the time before Dutch when it had been on the mad side. By the time we knew him in Red Dead 1, he was pretty crazy. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Alright, go into the shed, take some cover. This here looks like a nice spot, though. You know, this is a little bit sinister too, taking cover. Do I have a gun? I've probably got a gun. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. Uh oh. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some. There's a body of food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen, keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now. Okay, probably time to get out a gun. Because we're talking to bandits, savages, cannibals, some sort of thing. Got myself a gun anyway. You ready to cause some trouble? Now, friend. I ain't asking for much. Please. I am... Right, we're doing this, are we? Okay, I guess we're doing this then. Okay, yeah, we're just murdering these folks. Gotcha, doing a nice bit of murder, 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 and more murder. So now there's, yep, yeah, now there's a bunch of people that need to be killed. Gotcha. They're going down nice and easy so far. And, oh, hang on. Ah, you need to wait to actually have yourself a... Ah, that's cool. So if you actually hold down, you get more accurate. Otherwise, there's a bit of spread going on here. So that is all very, very nice indeed. Everybody dead? Feels like everybody's dead. Hang on, are you a... No, you're a bad guy. Sorry, my mistake. I thought you were one of mine because you know, we're both kind of dressed the same, actually. You know, we may have actually jumped the gun a little bit here, quite literally. Because, yes, there's a corpse outside, but... What if that guy just died of natural causes and they're in the middle of nowhere? So, like, you know, they don't have, a, like, a mortician or anything. They just have to keep him outside because in the cold, that's the best place to preserve a corpse. I mean, even if he's been shot, this could have just been a hunting accident. Oh, guys. Guys, I think we've made a horrible, horrible mistake here. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. 
Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's? I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. So, I could do with eating some provisions, and what are my options here? Peaches, oat cakes, assorted biscuits, uh, canned sweet corn. Oh, I like sweet corn. Yes, I shall have some sweet corn. Delicious, delicious sweet corn. And even better, I have the magical power to simply open cans by looking at them. Beautiful. Also, I'll be helping myself to money. And, oh, jewellery, that's got to be worth a pretty penny. And don't forget to actually search. So, yeah, we actually need to search through things as well as just actually just grabbing stuff you can see. It's not just glittery stuff walk into it. You need to actually hold X to pick it up, open up all sorts of bits and pieces, all of that. And I can also examine things. Okay, so a wedding photo. Poor bastard was married to. So zoom in, flip it over in case there's anything on the back. And yeah. Confirmation that there was a wedding back in 1896. And I can get that translated if I want to into a more legible font. Marvelous. Ah, I can go to... Ooh, first person view. <laughs> it's quite useful, actually, for when you're examining things. Okay, that's pretty good. So, fine, may as well put that back, I suppose. Now, can I do that all the time? Is that just straight up first person view? And the answer is... Oh, hang on. Just wait a second, I'm... Ooh, first person -y. Nice. And sorry, I'm, I'm busy being like in first person. Just give me a minute. I can certainly see how first person is yet yeah, easier for looting. Because the things you're looting do not exactly glimmer as much as they did in the first game. And they are quite small. So yeah, being in first person for looting, I can see the advantage there, yes. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Barn, barn, barn. This looks like a barn. Right, I'll go check the barn. Oh, hello. I just thought there were going to be horses in here. Well, he started. I'm going to break your neck. And we have got ourselves. Ooh, a fist fight. Right, so random hitting with B. Dutch, would you like to help me by any chance? Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Okay, so I'm going straight into the beating, am I? No option for me to say, hey, how about you just tell us and we let you go, put you on that horse that's over there, because there's a horse right there. We'll let you go on that horse. You can get back to your family. No, we're just going to beat us out of him then probably. I'm not a nice man. Like, John Marston may have done some very dodgy things, but I feel like he wouldn't have done this. I feel like John Marston would have actually, yeah, decided to just quietly take this guy aside and reason with him. Because John Marston could be very, very violent, but he tried to do the right thing. He looked for a better solution. So focus on him. Begin interrogating. And, oh, good. Good, good, good. I can do that. Marvellous. It's not just beating. I'm going to question... Ask him what Where's they're Cole doing here. Uh, with the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Uh, Alright, just keep questioning him here. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. No, 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 leave him. Leave him, just... Oh, blimey, choke. No, 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 no. We're going to do the right thing. He did... He did attack me. No, I'm going to do it the John Marston way. This guy is now begging for his life. But then again, we know there's a whole camp of them. Okay, 
I am going to knock you unconscious, but you are not going to be killed. Okay? That's what we're gonna do, because otherwise you might go and tell your friends. So that's, that's absolutely, oh. Um, I'm just trying to, would, would you please just go down unconscious? Okay, that's, that's fine. You are not dead, I'm still the good guy. Ooh, he knocked my hat off. Okay, pick up hats. Interesting. This would suggest that if there was a hat on the ground, I could have any hats. Okay, got to, ah, got to calm a horse. Right, activate calming. That's right, good horse. You're such a horse, aren't you? Right, now activate leading of horse. Continuing to bond with your horse increases its trust in you, improves its attributes. Yeah, but what about my existing horse? Like, I came on a horse. That horse is probably going to feel betrayed if I just show up with another horse. That's just rubbing its face in it. Oh. Noise inside the house. Female voice. Hello, what's going on here? Hello? Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing! She's one of them old Driscoll's! No, she ain't, Michael! Look at her! Miss! Miss! Are you- Fuck you, fool! Michael! Look at her! Miss! Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here, and quick! Come on, now. Oh, well done, Micah. We could have had a nice house here, but no, you're just set on bloody fire. Okay, they came three days ago. Then my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And can't stay here. Because we just set it on fire. That was our bad, actually. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, Bad man. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... Oh, she's the woman in the photo. He was my husband. So on this occasion, we are the good guys, with the possible exception of Micah, who was totally not. He was a dick. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Ah, so am I potentially Dutch's favourite? And is that going to cause problems down the line? Which might explain why I'm not around by the time of the original Red Dead. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... 
two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. Oh, I like this guy. Yeah, he seems keen to do the right thing. He seems a competent tracker, like him. Now, the question is, what's the deal with Abigail right now? Because we know from Red Dead, at some point she was basically just a... Uh, I'm not really sure what the polite term is, to be honest. Um, A camp woman? A, a prostitute in common? I don't know. The implication was she was just with everybody. But at some point... She went exclusively with John, but we don't know whether that's happened or not yet. But I guess if we find John and bring him back, then we'll be able to find out. So, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure exactly what Abigail's precise role is at the moment. Let's be after this guy anyway. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. Well, that ain't like him, though. Hmm. The beginning of Dutch going a bit crazy. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but whatever his name was, the mysterious stranger, the guy who was actually secretly death in disguise, who spoke to John in the original Red Dead, didn't he mention something on a boat and a girl who got horribly maimed? Okay, because of course he was reminding John about terrible things in his past, because he wasn't real, he was in John's head or he was death incarnate or something. So... Could the event that's just happened be that event? The first time Dutch lost it. The event, yeah, put the whole gang and Dutch onto a bad path. Because right now he seems to see himself as an outlaw, but not really like a bandit, if you like. But all of that's about to start changing. Because, yeah, the West is dying. It's almost over. This is going to be the gang going down and Dutch goes mad with it. And I think it's only just begun. Right, that would make sense, I see. Oh, now this. This is pretty flipping gorgeous, though. Hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. This is flipping nice. The snow and the mountains and the mist and the wind. And Javier sees something over there. Okay, back on the trail of John here. Oh, that's a corpse. Hello. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. No. Come on. Up there. Right. John is apparently in a bit of trouble here, but first inspect. So just do that. And that is indeed John's horse. Okay, so... Question is what killed him. He didn't just die of cold because there's blood. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? And, oh, okay, hang on. First, ah, I carry around lots of guns on my horse, and then I use my horse as like a, yeah, a changing weapon bench or something. And also, hang on, what's a Tennessee Walker? What? 
Is that my horse? Is that what the horse is? I'm guessing that's a type of horse. And you want me to change over to, yes, a shotgun. So I can have one, like, sidearm. So a small shotgun or a pistol. So, okay. Let's just quickly go for shotgun. Because apparently I need a shotgun. Because, oh, mountains, shotgun. Right. Gonna be something bad in the mountains there. And what are we looking at? Bears, something like that. And blimey heck, how am I supposed to be? No, humans, humans can't do this. Humans cannot just walk down that slope. I do not accept this. Now my stamina's apparently low. Alright, get my satchel out. And I've got myself tons of flipping oat cakes. And ah, some things just restore health. Some things restore just stamina. Okay, so if I want to get a little bit more... Yes, baked beans. I'm just going to eat a can of baked beans right now. That gets me more health, more stamina. Marvellous. So my stamina core is no longer empty. Continue to eat and drink to maintain your cores. On the ledge. Hang on, what ledge? What ledge are we talking about? We're on a mountain, John. There's a lot of cocking ledges. Be more specific. And I think we found him. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. I like how they've given John just a slightly higher pitched voice than he had before, because obviously he's supposed to be a fair bit younger. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got wolf problems. Oh, I like John lifting himself up to look. Okay. So, John, you just stay here. And I'll take care of all of this then. Alright, keep the wolves away. And sadly, I'm stuck with a shotgun. And I'm guessing I don't have a dead eye meter yet. Do I have a dead eye meter? And then lock onto an animal. Attract attention. Ah! Yep, attract some attention. Come over here if you'd be so kind. Come over here. Come on. There you go. Hi, how about you? How good are shotguns? Okay. Shotguns, good enough. And, excuse me, uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 excuse me. You running? I hope you're running at this point. We good? Yep, that one just naffs off. Oh, I like that, you don't just have to kill everything. If you want to, you can just scare them off and... Okay, that's, that's gross and bloody. No skinning? No, no skinning yet. Fine, we cannot have the pelts or what have you. Probably best we just get out of here at this point then. So that'll be what happened to his horse then. He got set upon by wolves and he had to flee down some dangerous ridges to get away from them. Gotcha. Alright, kill the wolves and... Oh, blimey, that's... Okay, there's a bit of an auto lock-on when you actually have the cursor over them. Got it. Because, yeah, back in the original Red Dead, it kind of... It snapped to the wolves. No, 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 and... There we go. That's better. Yeah, it kind of, it almost like snapped the horse. Oh, blimey, I've just, I just ran over a wolf. And then we'll just take you. Okay, you are a tough wolf, by the way. You are a very tough wolf. There you go. Three shots will do for you. So, yeah, it just used to snap to it. Now it's kind of more like manual aiming, but when you get close, at that point it more locks on a little bit. Okay, so that's changed a little bit, but then, in all fairness, the snap aiming in the original Red Dead was a little bit too powerful, so I don't mind the change. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Okay, I like Javier. He actually takes the time to say something that's totally unnecessary, but might give John just, you know, a bit more comfort. I like this guy. I like this guy. And his first thought is help John down. Yeah, I want to play as Javier. He seems nice. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Aye, oh, careful, idiotas, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. 
Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. Okay, heading east. Fine. So, hang on. Where are we right now? When people talk about the Wild West, like, where is that? I don't know. All right. So, mission complete. Enter pursued by memory. And now I can just search for all of this. And, yeah, Dutch just wants us to end up stronger, refreshed. And I can speak to either Mr. Pearson or... Ah, Bill! Bill Williamson, who is, uh, well, according to the first game, bit of a dick. And I've picked up an opened item, provide half the benefits of new items. Okay, that makes sense, sure. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. All right, I see what we've got going on here. There's a big difference between East and West in these people's eyes. East is where civilization is, where you go to obey the law. There's police, there's order, civilization, all of that business. But West is where you go to build something fresh, the Wild West. Or, well, the Wild West is dying, but they're still believing in it. Oh, this is... This is tragic and we've barely even flipping gone going. So Dutch is obsessed with this idea of heading west where he can just build something new apart from civilization. But that era is basically over. It's coming to an end. And he can't accept that. He just thinks if, oh, you know, we've got enough men or enough money, we can just go out and it'll be like the old days where we can just start afresh out west. And it ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work out for Dutch in the slightest. He's gonna end up alone and insane. But he's going to keep trying. Okay. Time to see what we got going on here. And oh, blimey, that's bright. Okay, so the eye adjusting to the light thing's still a thing. Gotcha. And I tell you what, let's start off with Bill Williamson. Because, uh, yeah, he didn't exactly come off well in the first game. So we may as well see what he's got to say for himself in this game. Maybe he gives a better account of himself. Maybe before... Everything went completely south. He was uh, a nicer, better person. Couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah. Yeah, Dutch is losing it. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Colm O'Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. 
This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. I don't trust these other guys I'm with. Michael was a dick in the first mission, and Bill Williamson's a dick. We know that from the first game. These two guys, them and Dutch, on a bit of a revenge murder spree. This could end very badly. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. <laughs> now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. All right, I like this. Oh, we're getting off the horses. Fine. And the horses can just be trusted to stay here, can they? Because we're not hitching them. And like, my horse is new. Should I, should I hitch the horse? Never mind. Okay, I'm just coming with you, Dutch. It's all fine. And, ah, walking uphill eats stamina. Gotcha. So I should probably have myself a little bit of, ah, that's dead eye. Fine. So an eye with an X in it, that's my dead eye. Do I have my dead eye meat yet? I'm not sure I do. All right, watchtowers, lookouts, all the rest of it. Plenty of people, sure. In fact, actually, is that Calm himself? And they're riding out right now, are they? Possibly they're about to naff off, which would leave them undermanned. That would be very, very useful if that's what's going on, yes. Keep an eye on him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Alright. So, we're gonna clear out some of them. And, that's good. Dutch isn't completely mad with revenge. He's not like, we've got to get him before he gets away. Let's just ride in there right flipping now. No. All right, Dutch is still, he's still calm. But I feel like the descent of Dutch into madness is going to be a big theme this game or so. Um, which horse was mine? I need to put a little flag on that. I think it was this one in the middle, wasn't it? Is this my horse? My horse, hello? Are you my horse? Mount, mount horse. Yes. No. Okay. I thought my horse was the dark one. Maybe it just looked darker at night. Here we go. Sorry, this one was mine. Right. Here we go. Get myself one rifle. No weapons in this slot. Got myself the rope. Got knife. Got fist. I've got plenty of ammo in the rifle. That's probably a good combo. That's probably fine. So now I've got all of that. Marvellous. And we're starting at long range. So start with the rifle. Spot on. Like you said... Revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal. And wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Yeah, he's teetering on the edge right now. He's... Uh... He's okay, he's doing something for his crew, but, yeah. Ten shiny US dollars says that before the end of the first act, possibly as the grand finale of the first act, Dutch is going to do something that lets him go after Colm, but puts the rest of the team in danger and people are going to die, and Dutch is not going to be apologetic about it in the flipping slightest. That's totally how this is going. They do have a watchtower. Are we concerned about the watchtower? Like, at all? Like, actually, yeah, they've got a rampart, multiple little outposts on top of it, massive watchtower. This camp has been very badly built because there's actually massive trees between the watchtower and the approach to the camp. But okay, you want me to get down, do you? All right. 
So, I think I've got the weapon I want here. I've got, yes, hang on. Got this. Get that ready to go. Spot on. Sneak in here. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, this isn't really like a camp or fortification. This is just ruined buildings. They sort of turned into a, a camp. All right. And now I've got options. Take the lead. Send the gang. No, I'm going to take the lead myself because if I die, we can just restart. If they die, everyone's going to be sad. So look at Dutch. I'll take the lead. Okay, I'll go first. So just got to line up the shot. Obviously, let everything go nice and smooth. Number one. And... Hello. Just wait for... Dutch, you walked into a shot, you stupid bastard. Right, well, people are dying already. Time to probably, yeah, not be uh, sat down anymore. I can't really see you. Right, go, 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 go. Get into cover over there. We've got plenty more people over there. Hello. That's... That was bad cover. That is... That's very bad... Excuse me. Yes, that there was very bad cover. So you can fire from the hip by tapping when not aiming. Probably a bad idea. Are you a bad guy? Are, are you a... No, you're one of mine. You're one of mine. I wish we had a uniform. If we had a uniform, that would be much, much easier. And... Boom! Lovely. Right, let's just quickly do some reloading over here. I think we're doing pretty well here, actually. Very few people left. Then this is, you know, just the introduction to combat. So that's absolutely fine. Right, I'm just going over there for a second. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. You should have taken the shot earlier. Right, and I... Are you... Are you one of mine? I don't know if you're one of mine. I'm I'm sorry if you weren't. I'm, I'm not 100% clear on that, actually. I'm just getting around the back here. This is fine. There you go. You dead? Yes, this seems to have all worked out. No, no, you're not. I'll just keep shooting you. I really hope you weren't on my side. In fact, you know what? I'm getting kind of close up at this point. So how about we just go over to shotgun? Hello! Just call me Shotgun McGee. That works much flipping better. Yes. Right. Where's the other one? There's someone over there slightly. Screw it. Screw this whole cover system. I'm just going out to murder some folks. Uh, push up on them. Yep. I'm doing it. I'm on. I'm right there. I feel like he's going to be in a spot of trouble. There we go. Yes, indeed. I do have a magnificent beard. That's certainly true. Job flipping dumb. Okay, that's fun. I like all of this. Now just go around. Do a bit of looting. Oh, do we? Okay, Um, I thought we were looting now, but all right, fine. Probably best to get the rifle out in that case. Right, more from the forest, more from the forest, more from the forest. Hello, stamina. 25% to level... Three, apparently. When you're taking the forest. Ah, I see you over there. Boom. I'm not sure he's dead, though. Right, I need to find some cover. Can I take cover here? No, that's that's a chest. This is... That's not a, that's not a cover thing. Need to find a... Oh, I'm going to regret standing here in a minute. Yes. Okay. Oh, was that... Did someone just throw something at me? Because I feel like they did. Right, just take you down. We're going to have more yet. Oh, we've got dead eye. That's good. Right, wait for a bunch of them to show up. Wait for a bunch of them to show up. Wait for a bunch. And advance or defend. Yeah, defend for the time being. We're in a good position. I've got my dead eye meter. This is good. Right, okay. Screw it. Give it a go. And what does that even look like? Ah, okay, now we just hover over people. Yeah, okay. So then we just take the shots. Okay, so this is dead on its current form. That will probably be upgraded. Just means uh, hover over people when you're in dead eye mode. And then that's where shots happen. So that is fine, and oh, I think we'll just actually put some shots in on all of you. And then boom, 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 boom. Nice. Though that does drain pretty quickly. Yes. And oh, someone's hat was just shot off, wasn't it? Someone's hat was totally just shot off. And oh, got you right in the shoulder, you bastards. Okay, I like the kill cam. The kill cam's a nice addition. And just reload finish you off or possibly just put you on the ground. I feel like you ain't dead yet. No, I think maybe you are dead. Right, and you guys are not good. Not good at cover. And consumable items also found in the item. We'll use tonic to restore dead eye. Ah! You say they are. Oh, hang on. Yes, they're over here. Ah, that's very useful. That's much better. Why would I ever bother using the hold to open right on D-pad menu when I've got this right here? So, health tonic. Restores health. And dead eye tonic. Okay. 
I guess we'll just kind of do that then. Sure. So drink. Gulp. Got myself dead eye. Nice. Got a bunch of corpses in the snow. Oh, I like how you can actually find the corpses by, you know, following their trail. That's kind of good. Though, yes, I will say the, um... The looting animation's a little bit on the slow side, given, you know, the average fight seems to generate several million corpses, so that's a bit on the slow side, really. It would be nice if he'd just, like, you know, walk into the things he dropped and get them. Though, actually, there's, there's two tiers to looting, because they do just seem to drop guns. So, yeah, I just walked into the gun there, and I picked up a bunch of cartridges, I think. And then, instead, if I want to get more off the corpse, I have to come over to this guy, and then put him down. And then go for his pocket, and then I get more on top of that, including items. Ah, I see. So, you can get ammo in a hurry, which makes sense in a fight. But if you want to get extra stuff, like consumables, then you need to actually loot, which is a bit slower. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. All right, so we're doing a bit of looting, are we? And I feel like first person is excellent for looting. Take myself cigars, beautiful. Take canned vegetables. Always could do with some more canned vegetables. Now the dynamite bin. If I had to guess what was going to be in here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Hey! See that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Okay, I'm guessing we're, yep, we're gonna be using the rope here. Beautiful. So go after this guy. And I need to go over to, yep, the rope there. Fine. So let's get after you. Need to be a lot closer than that yet, though. It would appear that my horse is faster than yours, or you don't know you're being chased yet, and thus you're just, you know, keeping your horse in third gear, or whatever. And... Go! Good enough? Oh! Yeah. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. So are we going to hogtie you by any chance? I think we're going to be hogtieing you. Yes, let's just give you a quick hogtie. Okay. I like this series of tutorials reintroducing everything from the first game, but doing it inside, you know, a bunch of missions and whatever. So you've actually got, like, context. You're learning about the characters and the story. Yeah, good way of doing tutorials. But by the way, I'm going to be stealing everything you own before we actually take you back. All right, we're going to be having everything. Oh, I've stolen your health cure and money. So uh, have this, put you upon my horse. Let's just naff off back to camp. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! I really hope I'm just trying to intimidate him because, yeah, again, that feels to me like something John Marston wouldn't have said. John Marston was a nicer man than that. I mean, maybe he would have threatened someone, but maybe he would have done it in, like, a nicer, more subtle, implication-y sort of way. Here we go. Night has fallen. And we've got ourselves a, a captive. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. So... Got myself this guy. Grab him off my horse. And we're gonna probably do something very, very nasty to him. Oh, this is going to not be good. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. 
Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson! Tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Right, following morning, and I'm gonna guess we've got ourselves a yap. Unsurprisingly, we need to do one mission for Mr. Pearson. Now, he was the guy who was tasked with, yeah, setting up the camp. So I'm assuming he's more like supplies, logistics. So uh, if I had to guess, he's going to be the tutorial for hunting, skinning, gathering the sort of supplies. I need to keep this community going because, uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption was very much the story of one guy. But this, this feels more like the story of, uh, well, the gang, the family. So it's going to be more about making sure there's enough supplies for all of them. It's not just me on my own. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd say that's enough for now. But that's, that is not the end of Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course not. Of course this is becoming a series. So, expect to see next part of that very, very soon indeed. I'm going to, yeah, get out a fair bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 over the coming days. Don't you worry. We'll be cracking on with this very, very soon. We'll likely do a live stream or two of this as well. Uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is good stuff. It is very, very pretty. Voice acting has been great so far. Scripts have been great so far. I like the tension that's immediately established with Dutch and how long it's going to take him to go mad because this is a game that can only really end in tragedy. We know how it's going to end. The only question is, how are we going to get there? And what's going to happen to Arthur on the way. What is the fate of uh, me myself? Because uh, Red Dead Redemption games, they generally don't end well for the protagonist. So uh, we'll have to see about all of that. But in the meantime, I've been Joel. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you very much and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we- Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.